Welcome to the game. You're watching Zero K on Planet for Bat oh, sorry, Battle for Planet 17. Uh, we have Ickins and the Sponge, Ickins in the North, the Sponge in the South. Uh, I'm Dan Hume, your commentator. We're just watching the players uh, line up now. This is going to be a quite a short game, so uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. Let's skip straight to the, the real game. And Dickens is first to put his factory down. He has gone for Cloaky Bots there. And uh, hurrying to take a, a Metal Point and a Solar Collector. Also with some Glaives queued up. Two for a start and, and um, we'll see what he does from there. However, the Sponge has also gone for Cloaky Bots. He's queued up five Glaives and a Warrior. Uh, but he's already taken those me those metal points. Uh, he did that before plopping his factory, and so Ekins' glaives are a bit further advanced. They'll meet somewhere in the middle still, though. Uh, it also means that the sponge is is slightly ahead on metal so far because he's been quicker to to take those points. Uh, the, the first few glaives sent out have uh, completely missed each other there. Uh, but the sponge's glaive is heading straight for the uh, starting point. Oh no, they're still scouting around. Don't forget of course that uh, because the, the players can start at any point along the edge of the map, it takes some scouting to find out where the, the, uh, the starting point actually turned out to be. Uh, Ikken's going for a very methodical left to right search and he's now found the starting point but uh, lost his glaives though. A, a pretty good attack actually, he managed to take out uh, Mech's two wind generators. Uh, slowed the sponge down slightly, that's that's not too bad for a start, that's what you want from raiding. Uh, the sponge's glaives, uh, I think they, they've worked out now where Ikken's must be, they're lining up in front of him but not moving in yet. And uh, they're kind of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ikens' glaives as they come out. And Ikens bringing his commander forward. He's gone for a commander junior in this game. Uh, it's an interesting choice. Commander junior is, of course, the, the basic model that, that can't morph or have any extra, extra modules or weapons added to it. Um, whereas the sponge has gone for, I think that was a strike commander. A uh, support commander. Um, and actually, if we look at that again, we see he's not got any modules yet. He's just got the basic laser blaster. Um, we'll see what happens when he decides to morph up to level one. Uh, Ikens using his, his glaives to to keep the uh, the red glaives off while he comes out and takes an extra mass point and uh, gives it some some energy so it can overdrive. Uh, so Ikens now slightly ahead on economy, but uh, not significantly. Also, uh, a, a Lotus so that he's free to move his glaives elsewhere. Um, he's also got a tick about to come out, so I'm looking at the wrong player right now. Uh, if we look at his queue, he's got a tick about to come out, followed by a warrior, then three more glaives, and only after that will he go for a rector, which will presumably will go sideways to take some of these metal points. And... One tick, a good choice for a bunch of glaives. Um, then they're not very good at attacking forwards, but because of they they cloak when they kind of burrow into the ground, so they cloak when stationary, uh, which means they're good for getting into an ambush position. Ah, oh, though in this case, of course, the glaive short range means that the tick is able to stun them all, even from a, an attack. What I was about to say is that ticks are much weaker when attacking forwards because. Uh, they don't, because they're decloaked when moving, it gives the uh, the units they're attacking a chance to destroy the tick before it gets too close. Though, uh, as I say, with Glaive's short range, that's not such a disadvantage. Dickens bringing his commander forward to help out, uh, taking out that warrior. So it's not looking so good for the sponge at the moment. He's um, taken the opportunity to take some extra metal points though, so he's actually ahead on economy right now. I'm uh, complaining that ticks are overpowered. 
uh, which they they kind of are against glaives, but they're very hard to very hard to use well in uh, the later game uh, when people start having warriors and um, and of course they're useless for attacking uh, static defenses. Um, the sponge is now building a tick of his own. Bringing his commander forward. His poor commander relatively weak, it's down to a half health already against uh, a few glaives. Um, and it's down, the, the warrior finishes off the job there. Uh, which of course the, the loss of his command means that the sponge is now down to 11 metal against Ickens is 16 which means that Ickens is very much at the advantage now and of course he has uh, the territorial advantage too having come out and forward a bit he, he's free to take these outlying metal, metal points uh, with, with less space to defend really um, the sponge also has Practically no units on the map as well as no income. His warrior is going to take another three minutes to be built. Um, Ikins could do what he likes in that time, and the sponge is resigned. He, he sees which way that game's gone. Um, so yeah, very very short game.